This is question 40 from the gate 2022 EC paper where we are given an ideal long channel N MOSFET and it has a gate length of 10 micron and a transistor width of 100 micrometer. We are given the mu and C ox is equal to 1 milliampere volt square. The threshold voltage of the transistor is 1 volt and we are given the following VGS. If the drain to source voltage is 1 volt, we are asked what the maximum value of the drain to source current is among these options. Underneath the question, you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video relevant to this topic. So we are given that VGS is equal to 2 minus sine 2T volts. Right? So we are asked to find out what the maximum value of the drain to source current is. Uh, given that the VDS voltage is held constant at 1 volt, and that we have L is equal to 10 micron, transistor W is 100 micron. We need to, and the threshold voltage is 1 volt. Now we know that. As long as the gate to source voltage is greater than the threshold voltage and the drain to source voltage is non zero, the transistor will have a non zero current that is monotonic, that is monotone increasing with its gate to source voltage. That is, if VGS is greater than VTH, then as VGS increases, ID increases for any VDS greater than zero. So given that VDS is one volt and that the max value of VGS is two minus minus one, which is three volt, we will get the max current ID for the max VGS that is three volt. So we are given the VGS value of 3 volt, VDS of 1 volt and VTH of 2, 1 volt. And so VGS minus VTH is 2 volt will be greater than VDS of 1 volt. What does this mean? It means that the transistor is in the linear region. Right? So that means that we have the current ID, the current into the drain for a NMOS transistor. We have ID is equal to mu and C ox W by L VGS minus VTH minus VDS by 2 times VDS. This is for the long channel device. Now we substitute the values 1 milliamp per volt square times W by L is 100 micro by 10 micro. VGS minus VTH is 2 volt, VDS is 1 volt, 1 volt by 2 times VDS is 1 volt. If you solve for this, you will get that the answer is 15 milliamps. Thus, the answer is 15 milliamps. That is option C.